coverage you can count on. This is the KFOX 14 Morning News. Buenas tardes. The faithful welcome Pope Francis like a rock star at the Cathedral of Morelia in Mexico. Now, in just about three hours, the Pope will arrive in Juarez for a historic visit to the U.S.-Mexico border. It is 6.59. Good morning to you. I'm John Purvis. And I'm Kajal Dashti. It's Wednesday, February 17th. This is a live look right now at Juarez, where Pope Francis will celebrate Mass later today. Our KFOX 14 news crews have been working around the clock to bring you the best coverage in the borderland. We'll check in with Robert Olguin, who's live there in just a few minutes. But first, let's check in with meteorologist Brad Montgomery for a look at our weather. And Brad, lovely weather for the Pope's arrival today. Yeah, that shot says it all as the sun starts to come up shining there. Beautiful. We take a live look outside. 40 complete emergency care. The radar is nice and quiet for us. Currently out at the airport, 38 degrees, so you still want a light jacket at this point in the morning. Las Cruces, you're at 33 degrees. Forecast for today, the old record, El Paso, 79, 81 degrees for your high temperature. We'll break that old record, 78 in Las Cruces. Sunny skies, light winds, a beautiful one for today. More on that coming up. Celine. Thanks, Brad. Yeah, and actually good news out on our roadways at 7 o'clock. I've been joking, saying maybe the Pope's looking out for our El Paso roads because we have not had any issues so far. No reports of any crashes or any major slowdown spots right now. Wherever you're traveling in the borderland should be smooth sailing. Northeast El Paso, west and far east all showing no delays on the major roadways. The one part of town that you do want to avoid is south central El Paso and part of the lower valley starting at 10 a.m. But right now the border highway is already closed from Santa Fe to US 54. That closure started at 3 a.m. and it will last all day long. It will actually extend to Yarbrough starting at 10. So a good chunk of the border highway will be completely shut down all day long. Avoid it if you can, as well as South Central El Paso, where there are also a lot of road closures. We'll talk more details about where you can expect delays and exactly what roads are closed coming up in just another 10 minutes. When Pope Francis celebrates Mass today in Juarez, he'll make history. It's the first time any Pope has said Mass on the border of two nations. Now, this location was chosen specifically to show solidarity from the Pope to immigrants making their way into America. KFOX 14 anchor Robert Olguin is live in Juarez, where Mass will take place later today. Robert, what's going on behind you? Good morning, guys. Yeah, we're right next to the area where the Papal Mass will be taking place. Take a look at our perspective, and I'll answer the question you say. What we're seeing is a lot of activity out here this morning. You're seeing ushers and people that are going to be helping organize the huge crowds expected to arrive here. Well, some of these people, some of the organizers, some of the volunteers are arriving right now. They're getting their marching orders. We're seeing some folks who are volunteers from churches, and also you're seeing uh, some first responders because the weather, even though it's very cold right now, the weather is expected to get very very warm later today. We are taking a look at video that we shot last night of the full dress rehearsal for the Papal Mass that was put on by the Catholic Diocese of Juarez. Uh, this included singers, uh, prayer, it included mic checks, of course, and lighting checks. It also included the choir that's 200 strong. We're talking about musicians and singers that's led by David Moreno. He is a teacher at Davenport Elementary in Cañutillo. He was one of the people out here trying to make sure that everything goes off without a hitch when the event actually takes place in just a matter of hours. Now, again, the Pope, the Pope will be making several stops throughout Juarez once he gets here, but the main event, the Papal Mass, that's set to get underway at 4 o'clock. And as you can see, activity is starting to build, the anticipation is building, but right now everything seems to be going very smoothly. Reporting live from Ciudad Juarez, Robert Olguin, KFOX 14 Morning News. Robert, thank you. The Pope's visit is the big story online right now. It's an exciting day that the Borderland has been looking forward to for months now. Our crews and Wadas have been working nonstop all week to provide the most detailed coverage of the Pope's arrival. Now, Robert shot this video last night. It's the full dress rehearsal for the Papal Mass at El Punto. 
You see cars driving by, slowing down to take a look at where the Pope will be today to deliver mass to thousands. Now that road and any road within a five block radius shut down overnight at midnight. KFOX 14's Megan Lopez tweeted this video last night. It's a look at the massive media presence at the last press conference before the Pope arrives this morning. And this is a seminary where Pope Francis will have lunch while in Juarez. It's a place for the Pope to take a break. Next to the big event happening on this side of the border. El Pasoans will fill the Sun Bowl today starting at noon to watch the Papal Mass. KFOX 14 Morning News reporter Ashley Claster joins us live with what's going to happen there. Ashley? The event is called Two Nations, One Faith. Folks will be here in El Paso from all across the country waiting for a chance to not only be close to the Pope, but also hear his message. Before the Mass, there will be a handful of local performances. There are 60 youth orchestra members, 120 diocesan choir and orchestra members, and more than 350 matachinas and mariachis. Also, multi-platinum country music artist Colin Ray will be here. So will World Youth Day guitarist Tony Melendez. The first performance starts around 1215 today. A lot of folks are looking forward to Pope Francis blessing the crowd there at the stadium over the live stream. That'll be nice if he comes out on the big screen here and addresses the El Paso crowd. I mean, this place is going to go crazy. It's going to erupt. And we will stay with you all throughout the day, and we'll bring you more on kfoxtv.com. Pope Francis will have some time before Mass to relax. We continue our team coverage right now with Megan Lopez. She's live this morning where Pope Francis is staying. Megan? Hey there, Kajal. And as the sun comes up, we're starting to see more and more people actually come out and um, start to get ready to see the Pope. As you can see, there's about a dozen people right here gathered, and they're starting to get their chairs out. We actually expected to see a lot more people. I mean, I know it's a, lot, uh, a few hours out still, but we actually expected to see quite a bit more people kind of coming out here. But I will tell you one thing that has been surprising, and it's been the police and military presence in this area. They are all over the place. Now, no one is going to be allowed into that seminary except for the seminarians, the priests, and some Vatican officials along with Pope Francis. The Pope is going to be eating lunch there. He's going to take a rest in one of the rooms for just a little bit, and then he's going to go into the chapel for some silent reflection before that Mass. We're told by some of the priests that live in this seminary that the Pope likes to take some time to just kind of prepare himself mentally before going into any type of big Mass setting like this. So we did speak with uh, Father Armando Benavides yesterday. He's one of the priests here, and he told us that this moment is not only important for him as a priest, it's not just important for him to meet the head of his church, it's also important for him as a resident of Juarez. He himself experienced that violence with members of his family, loved ones dying in that violence. A number of priests also died during that violence, which had its height in 2007, really, um, as a result of all of the cartel violence that was going on here. And he says that he cannot wait to just kind of heal that pain. And he says that the Pope, you know, will be able to illuminate this path, but he's not sure if the, the, the Mexican officials are ready to hear it. He says it's going to be up to the people to take the path that the Pope lights up. So we're going to keep an eye on all the crowds that are expected to gather out here. We'll be bringing you more updates throughout the day. Reporting live in Ciudad Juarez, Megan Lopez, the KFOX 14 Morning News. It is 7.07 right now, and you're taking a live look at Pope Francis in Mexico City as he heads to the airport right now. And, of course, there's well-wishers wishing him well as he makes his way to the airport in Mexico City as he prepares to head towards Juarez. And he's expected to arrive in Juarez around 10 a.m. this morning, so a lot of excitement here in the borderland as we are waiting for the Pope to arrive. Now, you know how the president has his plane is called Air Force One? Well, the Pope's airplane is called Shepherd One. So from this path, he'll get to the airport in Mexico City, board Shepherd One, and then fly. And I guess it'll take about uh, probably a little less than three hours to get here to the Juarez airport. A pr Juarez prison inmate won a contest and will get to share a message with Pope Francis during his visit. What she wants people to know about prisoners in the Cerezo prison. Brad? That's a beautiful shot from Mexico City, a live look outside here. Beautiful shot from the borderland as well, 42 Southwest University. We're going to be talking about the weather conditions for the mass today, plus 
record highs and your weekend weather to come. The KFOX 14 Morning News, it's coverage you can count on. Welcome back at 717. We're taking a live look right now as the Pope leaves Mexico City on his way to the airport for his flight to Juarez this morning where a lot of excitement is building over here in the borderland. And the Pope will land around 10 this morning at the Juarez airport. Patricia Maese continues our team coverage from Juarez. She's live waiting for the caravan that will take the media to the airport for the Pope's arrival. Patricia. Good morning. Good morning, Kajal and John. That's right. We are staging right here at the Civiles Ballroom. Now, this is where all the media, the international and national press are meeting. And eventually, if you see behind me, a lot of buses there. We're going to be loading those buses in several hours, and then we'll be shuffled to the Benito Juarez Olympic Stadium. I'm actually going to be the journalist that will be inside the mass covering the Pope. We have people all over the area, some outside, but I will be inside. We're going to have more for you on that later coming up. Now, before th the media and everything that happened, we had a big press conference yesterday. We had the governor of Chihuahua, Cesar Duarte Jaquez, and the mayor of Juarez, Javier Gonzalez Mokin, and they were kicking off the event to welcome Pope Francis. Now, one of the issues that they addressed is security. They keep getting questions about that. How safe is Juarez now? And they assure everyone that they've really cleaned up the city, that things are calm and quiet now, and of course, that's what the politicians politicians say the people who live here they sometimes tell a different story I've been out and around the city and some of the people say that violence is just a way of life and something that they learn to get used to we would pray but I still lived in fear I think everyone lived in fear because we didn't know when it would be the end when someone would barge into your home we lived in fear And of course, I keep getting asked that as well. How safe do I feel in Juarez? Now, being part of the press, and I've been telling you, we've been all over the city day and night. We have not felt threatened. Things are calm. I can tell you this. There is a huge law enforcement presence. Almost on every corner, you see federal, state, and city police just camped out. Again, during the press conference, the mayor governor is saying that they want to make sure that things are safe and calm for the Pope's visit. Reporting live in Ciudad Juarez, Patricia Maese, back to you in the studio. Patricia, thank you. It's 719 right now. Maybe you aren't going to the Sun Bowl or what as for today's historic event. You can still watch Pope Francis Mass live here on KFOX 14 this afternoon. Or if you want to check out what's happening for yourself, the city of El Paso recommends three places where you can go for possible views of the Mass. You can check out the Chamisal National Memorial or Segundo Barrio neighborhood. And a lot of people have already been scoping out spots along the fence at Modesto Gomez Park. In another live look in Mexico City where the Pope is getting ready to board the plane to head over here to Juarez in the borderland. His plane is expected to land here at 10 a.m. this morning. And John, you said the name of his plane is Shepherd One? Yeah, much like the uh, president has a plane that's called Air Force One, well, the Pope, his plane is known as Shepherd One, so he'll fly Shepherd One here. And again, it's a very large plane. It has room not only for the Pope and his staff, but also for the media that will travel with him when he arrives here in Juarez later today and we want to bring you one more live look this morning from Mexico City where you can see the Pope's airplane Shepherd one is now taxiing down the runway as it prepares to leave Mexico City heading for Juarez this morning he's expected to arrive here at about 10 a.m. and of course you can count on KFOX 14 to bring you live coverage throughout the morning of the Pope's visit we are taking a live look right now as the Pope has taken off in Shepherd One, heading from Mexico City to Juarez, where he is expected to land around 10 a.m. this morning. We will continue to update you on the Pope as things continue throughout the morning. And Selena is watching.